Floss Tube, it's Valerie at Stitching in the Barn, and I am coming to you to talk about cross stitch and other fun things. And I hope you're all well and doing what you ought to. <laughs> um, you know, stay at home, wash your hands, do all that good stuff. Um, you know, I worry a lot about people who are alone. I have my family, I, you know, I am used to doing things like FaceTime and stuff like that, so I feel connected, texting and everything with all my friends, but, um, you know, I worry about the elderly at this time, especially. I'm glad we all have our stitching to do, because that certainly keeps us going. Um, I will say that some days I find, like, I'm almost too tense or stressed to stitch at first, and then if I can make myself relax and get into it, then I really get into it. Um, and other days I just, like, I'm a machine. <laughs> it's a funny way to describe yourself. But anyway, um, we went out to Ohio. We collected my daughter's belongings. That all went very smoothly. Um, we house sit, sat for, and dog sat for my cousin for about 10 days. It was lovely to be in Ohio. It was so frustrating. I really wanted to go to up to Finley, um, to go to the cross stitch shop there and I really wanted to go to keepsakes and uh, of course I couldn't do any of it and I knew you know like Pam and Steph were right there a really good friend of mine from college apparently has been in Ohio all this time and you know it's like so close and so far so um, you know it is what it is you just have to do what you have to do so there we have it um, I will say I uh, know some people who are first responders. My cousin's son is an EMT in California. He has a little tiny baby at home and he's had some COVID cases, so he's very worried. You know, I mean, he, he's taken all the proper precautions, but you realize what these people are going through. And we have another friend who's a surgeon in London, and of course, our, all surgeries canceled, but they are just treating people in the hospital as best they can. Um, so, you know. Thank you, thank you. And all those people who have to work in the grocery stores and deliver your packages and do all the things that we're counting on being open, the, the few remaining things, the post office, I mean, you know, thank you. So, um, we'll get through it. As the queen says, we will meet again. So, go watch her little uh, speech to the nation if you haven't. She's quite staunch and uplifting, I would say. She's, you know, good fortitude. <laughs> I've been through it all. They've been through plenty of things. So, um, you know, that's a good thing to remember as well. I think a lot about my mother and my grandparents and everything they lived through. You know, my grandparents living through two, two world wars and Spanish influenza and polio and Vietnam and the Depression. And, you know, they embraced life with joy. So I think that's what we have to do. Um, Enough of my soapbox. <laughs> I will show you what I've been working on. Um, let's see. First thing is I did some more work on, oh, I don't have the front of the pattern. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, Brick House Sampler, Brenda Gervais. I am doing this on, I had one of those on. brain moments again. It's 46 count beach walk from Under the Sea Fabrics. And didn't iron any of this for you, I'm afraid. It's not the way I usually roll. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see, plain sheet of paper, this will do. Okay, there she is. I'm, I'm humming along on her. Um, isn't it funny how I assign gender to my different projects? Some of them are him's, he's, and some of them are she's, but I don't know why, for some reason. Anyway. Um, I have to finish the letters. I have to finish a dog or two. I have to finish the whole vine motif that goes underneath there. And then I will be finished. And I love this. I love stitching it. I can't believe I procrastinated for so long. I just was intimidated, I think. And then once I started, I just found I loved it. So dive in, folks, dive in. It's interesting, a friend of mine um, has been sending, she had bought these cards for her mom, um, and 
they have prompts every day and a question to ask and it's a, it's designed to get conversation going um kind of a fun thing to play with different generations and stuff and um one of them was what are you afraid to try what well, what are some things that you're afraid to try and why and i was thinking don't be afraid of that higher linen it's okay you can do it um or specialty stitches you know just practice them try them um, the next thing I did, well, actually when I was in Ohio, um, I started something new. Well, first I'll show you, I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. I will show you how far I am on my Bloomtopia. I believe I have done, oh, I think I've done one, two, three, four, maybe six sections of Bloomtopia, Bloomtopia. That is the Stitch Along, sponsored by the Fat Quarter Shop, and it is to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I'm looking for the page that just has the picture that I can show you of the front. Mm -hmm. Nothing like being organized, is there? Let's see. Oh, I'm not finding it for some reason. I must have taken it out to play with it. Ugh. Oh, here we go. This. That's the Bloomtopia in its fully complete state. I'm doing mine on 40 count dapple. Picture this plus. And I am this far. Oops, sorry to tip you. Um, I love it. It's very pretty and cheery. Just what we need. And I, I have some more motifs here. And then I think a border that goes all the way around and I'll be done. And I actually think I might participate in another one with the Fat Quarter Shop because um, they sent me a little sneak preview of what it's going to be. And you can only see a tiny bit of it, but it looked springy and cute. And so I'm like, oh, what the heck? Why not? I'm shut in for the month of May. I might as well, I might as well add something to the pile. It's going to be mania anyway. So um, when that comes out, we can talk about it. Um, this other one I was working on... Um, I worked on when I got back from Ohio because I forgot to take the conversion with me. I think I told you I was doing these Little House Needleworks um, ABC samplers and I had bought the conversion from um, out in Utah. Oh shoot. Uh, Shepherd's Bush. I'm telling you I'm really all over the place today. Shepherd's Bush has done a conversion and so I had meant to take this out to Ohio with me but I didn't have the conversion paper with me so I did this when I got back and I have done three of them A B C B E F G H so there will be three more under it and then another three under that so there'll be nine all together and I'm very pleased with that um I think it's, I think it's really sweet. Um, I have taken the people out. I put an extra pumpkin in and I just did this. For some reason I wasn't feeling the people. Maybe I saw somebody had done that. I'm trying to think. I think I saw somebody on Instagram had done that and I thought, oh, I, I think I like it without the people. So for this one I removed them. Sometimes I leave them in, but this one I just wasn't feeling it. So out they came. And that is on a 36 count linen, one over two. Um, don't know what the linen is. It's something that I got from Shepherd's Bush. And then it didn't look primitive enough to me, so I dunked it in tea and coffee and baked it in the oven like Vana does. Okay, so I decided I would start something. I had taken this out to Ohio with me and it was not an actual start because I, this was a mania thing that I started last year, but I decided I would work on Kathy Barrick's Bird's Eye View. Now Kathy Barrick usually does things in NPI. I do not have any NPI, nor did I have any way to get any NPI. <laughs> so I did it, I started in DMC, and I think I'm liking the results so far. It's on 40 count buttercream by Lakeside and I have this much done. 
So I've got the little house pretty much done. I've got the bird, who's gonna have the bird's eye view. And then I'll have um, another house to do, the vine, these little motifs, and another house and a horse, and the date. It's, it's fun, it's fast. I love this. Um, I don't think I've ever had buttercream linen before. It's a very pretty yellowy, creamy, yellowy uh, fabric. It's showing a pale there. It's really, that's more like it. It's really quite yellow, the piece I have anyway. Um, but it makes me feel springy, and I think the colors on the yellow are pretty. There's red and black and deep blue and sort of a muddy green. So I like it. I'm very pleased with that. I shall carry on with that. Um, last time I told you I had some new bags that I forgot to show you. I'd shown that lovely one from um, Crosshatch Quilts that I absolutely adore with the French general fabric. But I also got from the lovely Rika at House of Stitch and Stash. Look at this beauty. Blackbird fabric. So look how pretty for spring. Um, just beautifully made. It's all quilted and padded and fantastic and nice heavy weight um, vinyl. So I got that one. I totally splurged. I know I thought Rika's moving to Germany. She might not have time to make bags. I need to order two. <laughs> so I got that one and I got this gorgeousness. Totally love this color. Look at that. So pretty. These are just fantastic. I'm thrilled to have these. And they're bigger than um, the normal bags. Like, um, oh, where's my other one to show you? Well, here's one. But if you have a Q-snap or you want to carry a bunch of patterns with you or extra fabric or something, I think they're great for that. So, um, and they come beautifully packaged too. So, crinkle, crinkle, that wondrous sound. Um, I also wanted to show you, I don't think I properly opened, when I showed you the bags that I got from the Fat Quarter Shop, um, that I didn't open them up and really show you how big they were. These are the gingham on the go three piece project bag set. So it comes with this little gray one. Well, I think when I showed it to you, they were all folded up, so you couldn't really see how big they were. It's this big and they're all gusseted. So if you sit it on a table, it stands there. You don't have to, you know, here, this pink one is just sitting here filled with my stuff. The pink one is the next size. And then this Jagundo one, um, teal colored. And they're all gusseted, so they all sit. And you can just sit them next to you with your patterns in it or um, sit the littler one on the table with your scissors and everything. And I think they're great. I really like them. So thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. <laughs> um, also from last time, uh, I had some questions. Uh, several of you wrote to me and said, what is the issue of cross-country stitching magazine that the pin cushion pattern appears in? This is the one that seemed to catch everybody's eye. Pin cushions. And that appears in um, April of 2008. So if you're looking for that, that's what you're looking for. April 2008 has the pin cushion pattern in it. And also, I apologize, somebody asked me about um, a new pattern from Lila's studio, Leela's Designs. Um, I never know how to say that, so I say it both ways, thinking I'm covering my bases. Um, the Quaker Sampler. I'll put a picture in because I'm not sure I have the name right. Um, they, they're very interested in that pattern. They wanted to know, did it have specialty stitches? Well, I'm, I haven't been able to answer you because I haven't received my market orders yet. So I'm still waiting. Um, the only ones I have are ones that I got when I went to um, the trunk show before all the lockdown started. So I don't have that pattern yet. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. 
or hopefully you will have found out from somebody else. Maybe somebody else has that pattern and can tell us. But she was wondering, does it have any specialty stitches? She's pretty much an Ada stitcher. Could she do it on Ada? Would that be all right? And I said, oh, I'll find out for you. And then I went flipping through my patterns and realized I don't have that one yet. That's just one that I had on order. So I'm still waiting. Not the end of the world, have plenty to do. I'll be fine. <laughs> Deep breath. Um, so let's see what else. Um, I was thinking about what would be fun to show you. So I went out to the bar. I was going to actually film from the barn today just to give you a different point of view. And my daughter has sort of commandeered that space to do her homework. She's doing all her classes online for the rest of the year. So, of course, right when I said, oh, I'm going to go film, she goes, oh, I have a class. I'm Zooming with people and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, never mind. <laughs> I'll just do it in the dining room again. But um, I will be taking out to the barn. In fact, I'm trying to be really positive and use this confined time to get a lot of stuff done. Like, I, I don't want the days to just fly by with me vaguely anxious and worried and, and not really doing much of anything. I am stitching, but, like, our house really needs a thorough clean out. Um, you know, after three children and the youngest one went off to college last year, there's so much that we could clear out and need to clear out. And so I really want to get going on that. And my sewing room is an absolute mess. It is such a bomb. It looks like a bomb went off in there. And I go out there and I'm trying to make masks for us to wear because we've been told by our governor we should wear masks when we go out. And I'm trying to make masks to send to my son in California. And I can hardly cut the fabric because I don't have space around me. I've got piles of boxes and bags and things that need to be put away and messy mess mess. And I just hate it like that. Um, farm girl would have an absolute fit if she <laughs> saw it or tried to work in it. Um, help me, help me. <laughs> Uh, so that's my plan. I really would like to get that cleaned up. And when I do, the benefit of that will be I could film out there and it'd be more fun stuff for you to look at out there. So I'm going to work on that. And then I can, you know, do the thing like Lisa Kindred Stitcher did where she pulled open drawers and showed you, what, you know, old projects of old and stuff. I think that's fun. So I will try. I'll try. I'm so bad at it. I go out there and my mind starts wandering and I find some project I started and I get lost thinking about that project or I start playing with it and and the sorting doesn't get done you know and then I, whatever <laughs> excuses excuses okay so I did go out to the barn and I picked up one of my boxes of patterns because I thought that'd be fun for you now currently I have them sorted by category for instance this little basket has a tag on it that says autumn and Halloween. So that's how I've done it. And then Marcy inspired me to um, sort them by designer as well. Well, I think I did that for a certain amount of time and then maybe uh, that may have fallen by the wayside. We'll see as we go through them because, you know, I get lazy or I get, I don't have a lot of time. I go out and shove something in. Um, but they may be semi-sorted, which would be nice. Um, and I don't know how many I'll get through. This is Autumn Halloween, so we're just gonna start there because that's the box I grabbed. And the first one that comes out is this tiny little prairie schooler. It was one of those little cards um, from 2012. And I don't think it has a name. It's just from one of the books. I think they just pulled um, pulled motifs and put them on these little cards that they probably sold by the checkout desk, I bet you. I think that one's actually, that one's from Keepsakes, funnily enough. Okay, up next is Patchwork Pumpkin by Blackbird Designs. It's a reward of Merit Pinkeep. I'm sorry if you're not into Halloween designs. A lot of these are like autumn-y they're not all Halloween. Um, you know, that's a gorgeous fall thing to stitch. Look at how many stitches are actually on that. Like you think, oh, that's so little and it's so cute and I could just whip that out. Look, that would take quite a long time, I think. <laughs> so don't be deceived by smallness. Uh, what's next? 
Uh, Souvenirs of the Heart, Autumn and Amana. Love to do that one. That one looks like it'd be a lot faster. That's Brenda Gervais. I think that was sort of done to commemorate their Midwest cross-stitchers cross retreat they held last fall. Because <clears throat> I held it in Amana. Uh, Holiday Hoopla Thanksgiving by Brenda Gervais again. These are clearly, this clearly was shoved in the front and not put away because I have her filed under with thy needle and thread, so she should be towards the back. I think maybe because I had the hoop and the threads and everything, um, I stuck in the front. Now there seems to only be one of these, but this obviously was something I wanted to do, and I know I have all the others, I don't know where they are, but it's Halloween rules. Um, this is carve a pumpkin, stay up late. But this is what the whole thing looks like. Very cute. I've done the other ones. Um, so it'd be fun to have one that, you know, two that could hang near each other. Okay. So these, I think, were alphabetized because it's A for Abby Rose Designs, Thankful, Grateful, Blessed. Supposed to be done on 32 count. I guess you get the little pattern you could do a drum and you also get this one. Bent Creek, count your blessings. That turkey's not big, it's Uber. I think this is called Uber Turkey actually. A friend of mine did this and I thought it was funny. Um, Blue flower, Halloween acorns. That's a cute design because it's hollow. I mean, it says Halloween acorns, but it's not Halloweeny. So if you want some fall decorations, you could do that. And um, I talk about this all the time, but acorns are a good luck symbol in Scandinavia. So it's nice to kind of always have a few acorns in your pocket in the fall. Here's the blue flower Halloween squirrel. This is getting a little more Halloweeny, but it's cute. It's, it's not scary Halloweeny. It's cute Halloweeny. This is called Acorn House Pin Drum by Heartstring Samplery. I am suddenly into drums. Not that I'm going to be able to make my own, but it appeals to me. They appeal to me. So I seem to have acquired a lot of drum patterns. Jumping Cat, Dames of the Needle from 2012. That has kind of a fun, sketchy look to it, like um, artist sketching, rendering. I like that. It's done on a kind of a orangey, but very pale linen. Let's see what it says. Oh. Weeks, 35 pounds straw. I'm on floss tube. Do you want to come and say hello? I didn't think so. <laughs> My husband's pestering me. Uh, here's another heartstring samplery. I don't know why these in the beginning. A is for acorn. Told you I have a thing for acorns. I actually have a little frame to put this into, I think. Or right, here are some more spooky ones, more spooky type ones. But these are quite fun. Um, it's hindsight. And it's, this is called, what do I have on here? Oh, it's called Frequent Flyer. I couldn't read it. Here's the witch. And there's a little button thing that goes on that north, south, east, west. Isn't that cute? I guess they have it on the end of her broom. They actually have a, um, a little suitcase on her broom, but that's not the charm they gave me. They gave me the directional GPS charm, I guess. This one is called Pumpkin Prowl. And it's an owl with pumpkin eyeballs. And they give you the buttons. This one is called Pumpkin Peeper. Which is a pumpkin. Again with the pumpkin eyeballs. 
This one's called the Pumpkin Pussy, and again, the eyeballs. All hindsight. And this one's called Who's Who and has a little owl charm. Again, hindsight. And there's the owl charm. But those are cute. They probably would not be too long. This is called A Halloween Year. Um, bits of Halloween from Homespun Elegance. Sandra Sullivan. It comes with a little pumpkin charm. And this was from 2011. And that's fun. So I'm sorry if some of these are old and you can't get them. It's, it's still fun to look at the patterns, I think. I'm enjoying that when other people have shown them, so I thought I would. This is a Halloween year two. Uh, Batty about Halloween. Also homespun elegance. And this is 2013. It says Batty for Halloween. Here's Lizzie Kate Autumn Smalls. You could pick one or more of these and do cute little pillows for dough bowls or something. Lizzie Kate and Autumn Smalls. I'm sure you've seen that before. Uh, here's Little House Needleworks. I guess it's pumpkins for sale. I have a lot of stitching to do, don't I? <laughs> Here's a newer one. Hocus Pocus Halloween, heart and hand, to go in one of those little bowls. Very cute. Uh, this is 2018. Here's a few hands-on design. Scary Apothecary. I got Bat Balm. Bitter Brew. And Broomstick Fuel. Being, my children being of the Harry Potter generation, I had to have broomstick fuel, fuel. But I did not get them all. I just got those three, but I thought they were really cute. You could hang them on something and be very cute. Here is another hands-on design, Pumpkin Spice Farm. Very cute. I think I bought the chenille trim somewhere too. For that. I'm sure you've seen all these. I'm not quite sure this is why this is in the fall. I guess it's called Harvest Chalk Bowl, so. Hands on design collaboration with Priscilla Blaine. I thought that was cute with the sunflowers. Here's another Halloween year two from Homespun Elegance. Uh, Ahoot, it's called. It says Halloween is a hoot. Well, that is from. It doesn't say. I don't think. No. Nope. Well, I can't see it if it's on there anyway. What year? Um. Anyway. Oh, now we're coming to some Teresa Koga. We couldn't possibly be in that part of the alphabet, but maybe we are. Who knows? We'll we'll go for it. How much time have I spent? All right, I'll keep going. Teeny cross stitch chart, Black and Jack, Teresa Kogut, very cute. That is 2019, so that's a really new one. Keepsakes. <laughs> Here's one, Kitty on Jack. And that is, it doesn't have a year on it. I think that's an older one. But I think Teresa has said on her videos, you know, just contact her. If she has it available, she'll just print you a copy and send it to you. So uh, this one's best ghoul friends or just ghoul friends. Very cute. Cute little pumpkin girls. Uh, again, this does not have a year on it, I don't think. That's cute. Um, Halloween greetings. I need to get some of this dark 
pumpkin-y linen. Uh, they use chestnut, 30 count weeks. Mm, not sure I'll use that, but that I, I probably have something I could use. But that looks great on there, I think. Dance party, Teresa Coquette again. I wish she did have the year on here. It'd be fun to know whether these are newer or older. All right, moving on to la di da Something Wicked This Way Comes. <laughs> it says, by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. And it's got the old witch's boot. la di da this is Just Nan Halloween party and it has the beads in it. Does the beads go up there? Ah, all over it. I see other beads. So there they are, and there are the beads. Cute. Not Forgotten Farm Halloween sweet bag. I like that made into a bag. I think that's really cute. That's from 2015. I thought that was like an older one. Here's the Reverend Gordon Squash Bottom. I think um, Kitten Stitcher did this. She would say his name in a funny way too. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I gotta pull that out. I love that pattern. I don't know why I haven't done that. Love him. Love the house, love the cat, love the fa fact he's called Gordon Squash Bottom. And his name is spelled like a gourd, like a squash gourd. And the fact he's the Reverend Gordon Squash Bottom, that just cracks me up for some reason. Not Forgotten Farm Samplers Halloween Queen. And this does not have a date on it. There's the Halloween Queen. I love the primitive look of these. I love the tree on her dress. Another Not Forgotten Farm, Thomas. He's a fine fellow. That's 2007. That's an old oldie but goodie. This should have been um, stash from the flash from the stash past. Thomas. Oh, now we're into Pineberry Lane. How much time have I bored you? <laughs> ah, I'll keep going a little bit more. Pineberry Lane Fancy Blacket T for Two. It's not showing the colors very well. That's 2015. I'm pretty sure those are all still available. This one is Witch's Brew Fancy Blacket again. Um, Pineberry Lane. Little green and orange pumpkins at the bottom are cute. Ah, this is a Thanksgiving one. Be ye thankful, Pineberry Lane. And that is 2014. Fancy sunflowers, hanging pocket. I like that one. She's got a perch, she's going to town. And I like these things made into little bags. I think that's really sweet. And you can hang them on a door handle or something. Something different. Fancy Black at October Ride. Did we have this one already? No, I guess we didn't. Well, that's good. Wherein the good Miss Blackett and Mrs. Otis embark on an adventure and take to the skies. Perhaps they have Halloween tricks up their sleeves. I didn't realize she had funny little things written there. This is from 2014. They all do say something, or a lot of them say something. This says, we're in the good Miss Blackett and Mrs. Otis take tea in the garden. So obviously the pumpkin's name is Mrs. Otis. This is, uh, we're in the good Miss Blackett teaches little Miss Marigold to make a proper witch's brew. So she's got a little apprentice there on this one. This one says, let the peace of God rule in your hearts and be ye thankful. That's a Bible verse. Okay. All right, we'll do one more. 
Maybe one more designer. We are up to Plum Street. Plum Street samplers. Okay. I say that with a pang of sorrow because I was so looking forward to meeting Paulette Stewart at the Dying to Stitch retreat. Snip. But I'll get a chance someday, I'm sure. I intend to be around for a long time and do a lot of stitching, so hopefully I'll get a chance to meet her someday. Okay, Plum Street samplers, autumn salt boxes. Oops, sorry, tipping the table. These are gorgeous, love these. Not sure how I'm gonna do them. I've been looking on Instagram. I've seen people do them one on top of another, um, next to each other, uh, various groupings. I'm not, you know, some people leave off the Polaroid effect at the bottom, some people don't. I, I haven't made up my mind how I like them yet. I like them, I just really like them. So I'll do them, I'll figure something out. Here's one called Autumn Posy. And that is 2014. Here's Buzz Off. Crow standing on the B scaff, which is from 2018, so that's a newer one. Here's Olga's Autumn Stocking. I did the Olga's Tart, um, but I, for some reason, thought I must do the stocking as well. <laughs> this is 2016. This one is Eat Crow, 2018. He's funny with the hat. Turkey Bay, good Thanksgiving one. That's from 2016. I like the turkey swimming. <laughs> Or they've jumped ship, maybe. Friends of the Heart, this is gorgeous. Has a sort of almost fractory feel. This is 2017. I think that's beautiful. I love the little fox. By the way, just recently, spring has sprung at the farm here. Um, so many of our bushes and trees are in bloom. And you, I am sure you can hear my voice is gravelly from needing an allergy tablet, which I forgot to take. But... Um, saw a big fat groundhog the other day scurry right in front of me and down in the field this magnificent fox was prancing around um, you know sometimes you see fox and sometimes they disappear for a few years or you see them and they look kind of mangy this one was huge and had a really bushy red tail so he is in fine form strutting around looking for eggs or something I think uh, this one's called hello fall 2017. I know she did a goodbye series, like goodbye fall, and it's like, well, I'm not that organized that I could put hello fall in the start of fall and then goodbye fall out when it's leaving. I think I would just switch to winter, but well, you know, who knows? Never say never. Um, shall we do one more? Or two more? I guess I'll keep going a little bit longer. I'll keep going until I get to Brenda Gervais. Um, she has her own special category. I'm thinking I might rearrange things. Maybe I will take, I mean, as I have it now, I have all my patterns like this with like autumn Halloween. If I feel like doing a sort of fall stitch, I can flip through and see what I have and pick one from there rather than have them organized by designer. But there's something appealing about having them organized by designer. I mean, I would like to have all my uh, blackbirds together. Um, Maybe all my Brenda Gervais together. I don't know. Uh, I've got too much else to clean up now to start. This is what I will do, though. I'll start messing with a system that I already have that's in place that's pretty well organized. I'll go out, instead of dealing with the big mess that's out there, I will deal with, um, you know, stuff that didn't need to be messed with. But anyway. Pumpkin Spice Everything, the Scarlet House. Cute. That, I don't know what year that's from, but it's cute. We are on to Stacy Nash. St 
Stacy Nash, House on Pumpkin Hill Pin Keep. That's cool, done in a sort of midnight blue fabric. This is 2016, and it was done on 32 count Belfast linen in charcoal gray. So it must be like a really deep gray. That is fun. Let's see, Thistles and Spells Pin Keep. I had to have this for Scotland, of course. See the thistles there coming out of the pot? I love that one. Stacy Nash. That is 2014. I just love that little touch of purple in there. Halloween at Hollyberry Farm. I love all the Hollyberry Farms. I just ordered the new one, the stables at Hollyberry Farms. I haven't done a single one. <laughs> I just collect them. This is Halloween at Hollyberry Farm. Somebody just started this. I can't remember who. Somebody I was watching just started this. So I'll have to cheer them on. I don't think I'm starting this soon. This is 2013. Cute. Here is the Good Stitching Witch Pin Keep. So she's got her um, thimbles and strawberry and scissors. Let's see, that's 2016 as well. And one more, Halloween Pin Keep, love this. 2016 again. That one wouldn't be too hard to do. And then the final thing before we get to Brenda Gervais is a Waxing Moon Designs Halloween House Trio. And they, they put the year on here, I think. Uh, no, no year. I have a feeling it was like last year though. Or that's the first I saw it anyway. All right, so that takes us up to Brenda Gervais and I think I will stop there, save her for another day, try and come back more frequently because I think it's so helpful in this time when we're all shut in to be able to have um, visits from our floss tube friends. So I think that's really nice. And I will try and be more efficient. We'll see how it goes. Um, I was going to make a promise, and then I thought I better not say that. I was going to say if I clean up my sewing area, I can really show you that. But um, <laughs> I'm not going to promise that. <laughs> I'm really impressed by other people who say, I'm going to do such and such, and boom, they do it. You know, They don't mess around. They don't waste time. I have much to learn. <laughs> all right, I'm putting all this away so I can see what was on my nose. Keep all this back in the basket. There we go. See how organized I am. It's all back in the basket. <laughs> um, plans, mania. Hmm, mania is coming up, and I've had various thoughts on this. Um, the last time when I was showing you all my whips, I thought for sure I'm not going to start anything new. I'm just going to work on whips. I'm just going to rotate through my whips for 31 days, and that will be that. And I might still do that, or I could mix it up and do like a couple days on a whip and then start something new. That might work, because um, you know what's going to happen. Finally, my market hall will arrive, and I'll be desperate to start one of those things, but... Or I could do new starts, all new starts for Mania. I think that's what it was originally intended to be, but you know, people can do whatever they want. Um, but maybe just do 15 new starts so you at least get two days stitching on each one. Or Lisa Kindred Stitcher was saying she was thinking maybe do a Mania of just kits and small things. And I thought that's a neat idea. Might do that. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. Um, it, it will either be one of those or a combination or something entirely new. I don't know, but, um, <sighs> wish me luck with all these things that I've talked about cleaning and sewing and making masks and doing all the stuff I'm supposed to be doing. 
In the meantime, I hope you all stay really well, be very careful, and um, stay in as much as you can, and get lots of stitching done. And I will see you next time, and I wish you all good things. Bye.